definition of a limit of a sequence, let's just draw some pictures to kind of illustrate what's going on. So suppose that um, here is the line at 1, y is equal to 1, and let's suppose that we have our sequence is doing this. Here's a dot, 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 here's a dot. Here's a dot. It looks like I'm trying to do my best at drawing a sequence with a property that limit as n goes to infinity of a of n is equal to 1. So as n goes off to infinity, the terms of the sequence are getting arbitrarily close to 1. And so that's the limit. Note, uh, note very, something very important here is that I'm not drawing a curve. So you may have expected something that you might be expecting me to do is usually when, I, when we talk about limits, we're talking about limits of functions uh, defined on intervals. And so you may have been expecting something like this, where it's like here, you know, we have this, this uh, horizontal asymptote. This would be showing that limit as x goes to infinity of f of x is equal to, let's say this is still at 1. But we don't have the function, you know, we, it's individual dots. This is a of 1, this is a of 2, this is a of 3, this is a of 4, this is a of 5. We don't have a of 1.2, we don't have a of pi or anything like that. We just have all of these individual dots. So that's what limit of a sequence looks like pictorially. Um, and we want to see something that doesn't, uh, where the sequence diverges. Bn is equal to cosine of n pi over 2. So what does this give us? At 1, uh, it, it, we just do this. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. At 2, cosine of pi is minus 1. At 3, cosine 3 pi over 2 is 0. At 4, cosine of 2 pi is 1. And it just cycles through those values over and over again. We're not getting close to anything. So this is no limit. This series, sorry, the sequence diverges. So that's a couple examples to show uh, what is going on here. Now, so, now, it can be a little bit tricky to prove things from this epsilon definition. I mean, if we go back to go back to Calc 1, have you seen the, uh, some of you may have seen the epsilon delta definition of, of limits and stuff like that. And so, and so in the next video, we're going to take a look at some ways to uh, prove that limits exist without, without relying, uh, without going to the definition.